Geo Hoi, it's Fuss of Glitch. Welcome to Abian's Adventures. Playing the cat lady. Um, oh, that's right, I can only use my mouse. Okay, load game. Load. Oh, I can go to these. Okay, um, we're gonna go to the candle part. I didn't know I could go back to this and change what I do. I can go back to that cabin even. Okay. Because I know, um, well, I haven't read this part, but depending on which candle you blow out, there's a different outcome, I think. I'm gonna go for this one in the middle. Strange. The flame seems so strong and steady. There is no smoke. I can't do her voice very good, but... Use. Oh, I just got into my inventory. Okay, um... No! Get out of the items. Okay, candle. Um. Blow this candle out. Oh, what's going on? They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. Oh, what's... Oh! I was See how the easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. I was not. I think that's enough for now. Okay. Head back to the field. Can I touch this now? Okay, no, I can't. All right. What the? How did I get back here? Ah, uh, no thanks. I want to know why there's cars everywhere. Let's get back to the field. Is this the right direction? They've got me so confused now. <laughs> um. I like this art style. Okay, so she kind of makes me think of the art style from Monty Python. You know, those pieces of art that are... Oh, hey! Oh, that's right. Um... I know I didn't need to go in there, but um Sam Hole has been boarded up with these planks. Wait. I need these emergency power switch danger. Cool. Okay. There's definitely something there. Alright, um, I know what to do. I should be told to go in there first, but I'm gonna do it. I need some emergency pit switch danger, it's dark inside. All this blood around the hole, was someone hurt here? Sheen? Mm -hmm. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. 
I mean, silly, just some old machinery after all. Oh gosh. Should we reach inside? I gotta reach inside. Oh. Uh. What do I do? shouldn't have gone inside there. Should we go back? I think we should go back. Chapter 2. Second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw like curse, beauty like... to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. Are you one of those- I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just, it's been a difficult couple of days. I have my arm I'd back. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. <laughs> you want to check if I'm nuts? I am. Well, I wouldn't use that I'm actually in a perfect mood to play this game. But yes, <laughs> we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Gosh. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. Are we in this Germany? But she's minutes. English. I and... can tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? What the day is? Um. She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. And now You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Susan Ashworth. Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. All right, I you're can see your Scottish. brain function is just fine, and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs, and they're fine British. too. 
You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Oh, I had the take overdose. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. I just came back from Would the Would you like orders. me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. I gotta leave. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Also, my videos are gonna be fixed now because I don't have to have that little break in the middle. I finally got full version bendy cam. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I shadow you? on your bottom? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... Hi. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway... I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You doing what you've done and her walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. Don't complain about One your job if I just I committed suicide. It. I swear I will. Dude! Ah. And here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Wouldn't that be kind of high? Just wanted to actually, say you're lucky. I that think. looks pretty good, and actually. You've changed your mind. It's higher than mine. Got to go. But I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Alright, we're definitely in Britain. That one guy, he sounds just like, like Detective Lindley or something. Like Donnie Murdo. Uh. What? Oh, please don't rape me, Doctor. Bad dream. Just a dream like any other. Uh, no, just a dream mm. like any other. Oh, that's fine then. I nearly woke you up, you see. So you tossing and turning as I came in here. You looked like you were having a horrible nightmare. I get nightmares sometimes. I get them, and I <coughs> can't wake up. Or sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Never hit the ground. Never. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills, and I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm, and then... Uh, should I tell her more or not? I'm gonna save here actually. Um, uh, I can't in the middle of a conversation, of course. Um, all of a sudden, I was in a field of barley. I woke up here and saw you. Uh, I woke up here and saw you. I woke you. up here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. My daughter? If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. 
But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So <laughs> she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here when will they let me go home? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute. But they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Oh, nice! When will they let me go home? Just sedate me away. I will. Probably I will cut up a fuss, and then you can overdose me on sedatives. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him. Oh, doctor great! X. I am gonna get. He's a chief of psychiatry. Uh, abused, aren't I? You won't be able to go Again. home until he's talked to you, and he. <clears throat> he's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. <laughs> Tell me more Dr. about X. this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. That is nice. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say... A big I knew it. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. <laughs> Stupid girl. Well. Your tra yeah. You're wearing trousers and at I least. Maybe that's why he's just friendly. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? What? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells... funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. Oh. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Did you see this daughter of mine? Did you see this daughter of mine? No. Sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you, but then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? 
One would assume so. That yeah. girl is a hero. Yeah, but why was she in my flat? always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? I'm not going to tell you. Maybe. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. <laughs> Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse, not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. <laughs> well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't wow. like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Yeah, I bet my friend gave up on me because they're moody, because they know Valentine's is coming and they miss their Tell me more ex. about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. Oh, we've already he comes had this. Ward often, oh. usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. Oh, we've already all had I know this. Is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. Oh, I I we already had this one. I'm sorry. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh, yeah. They say he's a big flirt. I should take Nurses, a break. cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. Oh, I don't know how okay. these things work. But it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. I hope so. But I can't really say a bad word about him. Personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad after uh, What? Or maybe it's something he eats. Okay. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff right out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Alright, um... I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? Yeah. I... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? <laughs> 
I'm not gonna answer the phone, I'm kinda scared. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 